how did you make this movie and keep a straight face? Um, making this movie was actually impossible to keep a straight face. I, I did have a blast. It was not, it was not your typical go to work, know what you have to do. I knew that I was in for, you know, whatever was going to be thrown at me was going to be funnier than I could have possibly imagined because we were doing what was in the script, which was hilarious. And then Paula was constantly writing these post-its and handing them to us and knew, knowing that Amy and Tina were going to be improvising and we would be doing stuff back. Like, it was it's, it's the greatest. And doing all that improv, did you feel as if this R-rated comedy allowed you to do a lot more than what you could do on your other network shows? Um, I guess I feel like... Being in an R-rated comedy de definitely gives you the advantage, yes, for sure, to um, say and do some of the things that you weren't able to do on network shows. But um, but the thing I've enjoyed working on network shows over the years is that, you know, we were having to become far more creative in order to get away with things and come up with words that weren't really bad, but could have been and um, so I kind of like both you know but I think when comedians get together and they just they go dark really fast and so that's enjoyable to me it just went south yeah <laughs> yeah so tell me what made you decide to join this motley crew of sisters um, what made me uh, decide to join this motley crew of sisters was was a simple text from Tina saying hey, would you like to come uh, be in our movie um, that Paula wrote and you get to play a character named Brenda? And I knew, I knew that was it. I got it immediately, like, oh, it's going to be a lady named Brenda. Then we all know, like, she couldn't have a regular name. She had to have a specialized name and just what that kind of a person was. And just every time we talked about her, we'd all go, oh, gross. So it was fun. Yeah, she's so different from any other character that you've played. It was so funny to watch you be her, you know, and interact with them. Uh, how did you develop that over the time? Um, I don't know how I developed Brenda over the time. I think I, I, think I just, uh, I think she was just always there. And I just think it was so easy, obviously, with, you know, as the story goes, she's constantly being pushed away, and you know that she's going to erupt. But um, she was just kind of always kind of a jerk, you know, from the beginning. So that I was already like I was already excited to like start at ten, you know. And the cameos in this film are incredible. Can you tell me about some of them? Um, oh my gosh! Well. Are they all cameos? I guess um, the cameos in this would be. Will you tell me? Are they all cameos? Really? Like. Um, well, some of them are, you know. Well, like some of their cameos, like from our some of our our homies, like Rachel Dratch and um, Kate McKinnon's in there, and uh, Bobby Moynihan. Oh gosh, who else? Well, Ike Barinholtz for those uh, for those that know and love him. Um, Diane Weist, who I worship and adore um, and James Brolin pay, play their parents which is hilarious to me um, who else God who else who else who else John Senna John Senna John Senna is amazing I mean where 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 did he come from I mean I know where he came from but like has he been acting this whole time and I just didn't know it he's great he's so good that's a good that's a good good cameo I like that um, I love Greta Lee in this movie. She's so funny. She is hilarious.